welcome back to our youtube channel a new day a new tutorial all in preparation for halloween so today i'm creating sally from the nightmare before christmas and if you want to know how i created this look please keep watching because i will show you step by step in the coming video as my hair looked absolutely terrible today, I already put my wig cap on. I also blocked my eyebrows. I did this using Pearl's Aid and I popped my white contact lenses in because Sally seems to have only her pupils. So that is what I want to imitate. To get the base coat of color on my skin, I'm going to use the Magic Cakes by Ben Nye today. So I decided on the vein color, which of course is a beautiful not that beautiful color of blue but i think it might be a bit too dark so i have two brushes so i can apply a bit of white over the teal color might it be a tad too dark for our sally so here is the teal and that is too dark so now i will add a bit of white to that and see what we get and we get a beautiful color for sally so now it is the art to get the same color on my entire face my brush is a bit too wet and that is why it isn't covering as well as it should. But that basically is the color we want to create Sally with. I'll just put a bit of that blue on my skin, on my neck as well. And then with the white we create a lovely light blue color that is the lovely thing about water activated makeup you can just very easily blend colors together i'm leaving the space of my eyes open because sally has very large round eyes and i'm not painting my ears today because the wig will cover my ears i will paint my neck so to do a bit of shading i'm just going to use the teal color again that makes it very easy to shade it will blend once again with the base i put on so i know sally has a very rounded face i'm just going to put shadows on that don't really make my face that round and as i want those shadows to be a bit softer I'm going over it with the brush that essentially had white on it, putting shadows on my neck as well. So I'm just shadowing the outside of my neck in its entirety to make it look a bit thinner than it actually is. Now I also want a shadow on my nose. So a few highlights as well. So I'm just highlighting the cheekbone, my forehead. Now I am happy with the base color, it is time for the eyes. So Sally really has those enormous white big eyes. So I'm gonna create the illusion that my eyes are very big by painting white under and on top of my eyes. So I don't yet know if I will fill this entire space with white but I do know I need to create round eyes as Sally doesn't really seem to wear any eye makeup I'm just gonna go back in with the vein to put a line around that white So one of the eyes is not as round as it should have been, but well, it is fine for a Halloween makeup. So before I will continue with the eyes, I will quickly put the base in for the stitches. So I'm once again using that teal color and I have a reference picture of Sally. And I'm just gonna draw the line from my eye down. Okay. 
and she doesn't only have the stitch over her eye, she also has the stitches on her mouth. And we have the stitches on the neck. Then we need some black for those stitches. Or a black line as the base for the stitches at least. And I'm going to use the same black to outline the eyes. So I just put a white line next to the black and I also put that shadow in to start with, that was the vein color. So doing this helps to sell the illusion of the stitches, it looks more real when you put a highlight on top of your stitches. So now the base is on there, it's time to just put those stitches in. I'm going over these stitches with white basically because Sally's stitches are white but the little bit of black that you can still see once again helps with the illusion of the stitches being real. Now she doesn't really seem to have any bottom lashes. But I will draw them on anyway because otherwise I feel very naked. So she really has thick kind of lashes, just to put together in a V shape. Finally it's time for the lips. So uh, Sally has red lips and you can definitely just put a red lipstick on. I'm using the cranberry color by the Benai Magic Cakes. So I thought I was finished with my Sally makeup but while going for my wig I looked at the mirror and I thought that the upper eyelids or my the end of my new eye looked kind of weird and empty. So um, I put some lashes on and that actually feels kind of right although now I have two sets of lashes obviously. Um, but the big round shape would obviously be her new eye, so there would need to be lashes on there. And with that I am adding a bit of shadow as well, just to get that illusion of this being her eyelid. And with the red wig, my Sally from the Nightmare Before Christmas makeup is complete. So I had loads of fun playing around with the Magic Cakes by Benai today and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching it as well. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel in the link below to tune on all our videos. We have a new video for you every day until Halloween, so definitely stay tuned.